You're listening to Q and A with Boo and Bay. I'm not gonna lie, and I, I although I feel like porn is not healthy for the mind. <laughs> no, but you see, okay. you learn a lot from porn. I'm gonna make that clear. I feel like watching porn growing up was the equivalent of getting a university degree and having sex when it came to having sex in real life. No, but okay. For well, me. A, well, well, for you, okay? <laughs> Actually, I need shame on the show. The, the denial confirmed. Nah, this is pre-shame, my fam. This is like, you know, like the equivalent of BC era, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> in my life. <laughs> no, but what what I would say to that is this, think about just uh, the way edu- well, sex education is presented. For guys, a lot of men, it's presented through hypersexualized means, mm-hmm. uh, through porn or, or stuff like that. Music, Music movies. Yeah. And then for women, a lot of it actually comes down. Like, if you read Cosmo, I've read Cosmo a few times. I'm, I'm not ashamed. Mm-hmm. But first of all, <laughs> some of the tips they be given to these girls, good Lord, you can't do this. You all hurt a guy. You're, you're really good. <laughs> But like, like what? Like what? No, but you know what? You have to prepare a guy. Like this isn't stuff that you can just break out the first date. Okay, this stuff. You is this some like white ish where it's like bring lettuce and cottage cheese <laughs> into no. the bedroom? No, I mean the ice. I mean if 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 you don't know about ice, men, women, if you don't know Yo, about ice, ice, ice is a thing. Or or baby oil. That's a different one. Mm, okay, you're on, you're on that world star <laughs> world star porn dot net. No, 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 no. Relax, relax. <laughs> you're wild. Relax, relax. Okay. I'm at like playmaker, <laughs> making the plays, making 20, the plays since 1995. Since 1995. <laughs> but yeah, no. What I'm what I'm trying to say is, it's like you know, they like Cosmo does at least try. And I feel like women just actually read about it, learn about sex education, learn about STDs, learn about stuff. And it's it's good. Be, and mm-hmm. Mostly they have to because, I mean, their their sexual organ is a little bit more complicated and yes. it has more attention and good for good on them for doing that. And then men don't get do that same kind of attention. So we just think as just completely hypersexualized, kind of one track about the whole situation mm. when really we should be thinking about it just as much as like more like as a learning opportunity and guys get really really for either nervous or insecure when they talk about this like guys like for women you think guys that's all they talk about no a guy conversation about Sexual activity is like, oh. It's very you, vague. It's like, yo, I smashed the ting and then yeah, we it. balled up a backwards. <laughs> like, yeah. whatever. That's it. Like, but listen to women talking. Well, they're going to. like, yo, first, detail. first I did this and then I did that. And like, oh my God, you did that? Oh my gosh, how big was he? Oh, yeah. like, and stuff like that. And That's I, true. They, they do have more of a, a detailed conversation. Yeah. You know what? I feel like guys are conversation starters. Women are better at, like, actually having a conversation. Mm. Perhaps, yeah, they might be more detailed. They're they're able to see more out of the situation, whereas guys, we kind of see things in black and white. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, it was this, it wasn't that. But that's why I actually enjoy having a lot more conversation with with women, just in general, because like they they we carry on conversation. You can have a great conversation with women for like at least an hour, an hour and a half mm-hmm. about a specific topic. But now nowadays with dudes, it's like dudes will only have conversations with each other if they're turned. Or if they're doing <laughs> like they're not just gonna like link up and talk, you know? What no, I'm guys saying? don't link up and talk. That's just that's that's that old old man stuff. And yeah. it's not even like link up and talk. It's like let's go watch the game and and we're eating wings and we're drinking we're drinking like Coronas and a beer or something. And mm-hmm. then you're sitting there like, hey, how's Shama doing? And then you answer, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, my girl's like this. One, two, three. Like, you know, it's not. Yeah, it's not like more informative or like, oh, like, what do you mean they did that? What do you guys, what's your life like this? Like, like you know, like. No, and like, yeah. We whereas girls are like, what's your sex life like? You no, know, exactly. Like, girls are really asking questions. And like, sometimes I get privy to certain of these conversations and I, I learn a lot. Like, I have I think I've learned more from women than I've ever had from men. Like, I could probably write a th- four pages about everything I've learned from a guy, including teachers. Okay, and I've, then, and then that- I could write. Maybe four books about everything I've learned about women and still know nothing. Okay, I have a question.